Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to implement two most popularly used rate limiting algorithms that are leaky bucket algorithm and token bucket algorithm. So in our previous video, we implemented a fixed window rate limiting algorithm and a sliding window rate limiting algorithm. So if you have not watched that yet, I will suggest you to watch that also. So you will get a basic idea of how rate limiting works with Redis. So in today's video, first I will just briefly explain both the algorithms and then we are going to implement that using Node.js and IORedis package. Okay. So if I talk about the uh, leaky bucket algorithm, if you just go to that picture here. So in a leaky bucket algorithm, basically the no you can think of this water droplets as the number of requests. So as the number of requests falls into this bucket, the bucket will, you know, process the request one by one or slowly, you know, there will be a fixed control flow of the request. In order to control the heavy flow of request, heavy inflow of request, let's say suddenly 10,000 requests came into a server. So this is your server, let's say, processes request in a controlled manner. So I've discussed about leaky bucket algorithm in detail in one of my system design playlist video. I'll attach that video in the i button above. You can go ahead and watch that to understand more in detail the theoretical part, pros and cons of this leaky bucket algorithm. Let's just now do one thing. Let's just start implementing this leaky bucket algorithm using Node.js. So for that, I'll go and create a file called let's say leaky bucket.js. And by the way, I'm going to push this code to my GitHub repository. You can check there also. All right. Okay. Now we have a IO Redis package and a Express package with us. Right now, I have created the client also, Redis client here, and our uh, Express will run on port 3000. Now, let me just define two variables. The first variable will be one of the bucket key I'll add. Okay, what is the name of the bucket? So it will be leaky bucket. Then our bucket will have a maximum capacity, right? So capacity is let's say 10. That means that maximum 10 requests I can allow it to reach the server. Then we will have a leak rate. What rate my bucket will start leaking? I mean the leak rate that that number of flow request rate. So at uh, what second, you know, uh, my bucket will start leaking one request or one drop from the bucket. So it's basically kind of you know leak one request per second so this is i have taken in milliseconds okay this is my capacity now let's just implement the core function of my leaky bucket algorithm in order to clear that bucket in a controlled manner we'll run a set interval first we'll run it in an async manner and we'll first get the count of the number of requests that are there currently in the bucket so for that we can use a redis ln we'll, we'll use the ln of the bucket key that means we'll get the number of requests that are there currently in my bucket all right now if count is greater than zero then obviously what we can do is we'll, do, we'll then you know we'll just pop one element from the bucket that means we are basically re removing that request from the bucket that means one drop of water came out of the bucket and we can print something like leaked one request from the bucket right and pending you can show the pending is it will be count minus one this, this much is pending so one request is uh, leaked that means a bucket has one more capacity i'm request for one more capacity right now now this will uh, run this interval at a leak rate like every second like every thousand um, milliseconds or every second i am reducing one one request i am dropping one droplet from the bucket just like we saw here right this this is what we are uh, writing here and then we are going to define a api let's say rate limit is my api key we'll make it async do the check First, we'll get the count. All right, like how many keys are there? Redis dot ln in my bucket key. All right. Now, if my count, to, I mean current count, number of requests that are there in the bucket, if it is below, below my maximum capacity that I can accept or my server can process, I'll just you know just push that request. Uh, 
is some sort of just to note that yeah, my request has been added in the bucket because my bucket still has capacity right my bucket let's say it, it was empty currently so incoming request i can accommodate until the bucket is full so if the bucket is empty or it is not completely full that means the capacity is not reached i'll just add that request to my bucket so that's what we are doing we're just pushing at the random value here and then we can just uh, send a message at request accepted Alright, let me just send this way so that I mean you know it will be cleaner in the response that we are sending. If that is not the case, that means my capacity is already reached. Capacity bucket bucket is already full. So what we can send, we can simply send 429 message in message. We can send too many requests. Alright, now my server will be running on port 3000. So this is the code. Alright, I hope you understood this algorithm. Let me just reiterate. Until the bucket is full, I mean, if the bucket has capacity, we'll add a, uh, add the request to the bucket. That means this is what we are doing. If my bucket has capacity, that means current uh, current number of requests in the bucket is less than the maximum capacity. I can easily add new request. Right? If it is not the case, then I am sending rate limiting error. And every second, this is a background interval that is running. Every second, we are leaking one one request from the bucket. That means we are basically making room, room for one more request in the bucket. Now let's just quickly run this in our application nodemon leakybucket.js. Yeah, my server is running in port 3000. Now let me just run the request. Thing, what was the API endpoint? It was rate limit, right? If I send a request, I'm getting welcome. Some error happened. Uh, Redis dot Redis is not a function. Okay, I think this is we already have a Redis. In the count is there? We are basically popping the we are popping the element from the bucket. So this is what. The issue was oh, now let's just run the server and send a request again. Welcome, welcome, yeah. I mean, we can try increasing the time here, leak rate, so that you know. Let me make it less than 5 seconds so that lesser number of requests will be refilled and we can test a leaky bucket thing here. See, now as soon as I started sending a lot of requests which uh, you know uh, reached that capacity, the capacity reached to let's say maximum capacity reached so st i started getting lot of request here all right now if i just again see again this is how it works because as soon as if the capacity is reached we are getting too many requests else if i sh make the server sit idle for some time i'll have again capacity to accommodate some request see i'm getting again welcome again too many requests so this is how the leaky bucket algorithm works now let's just discuss about the another algorithm that is token bucket algorithm. So in token bucket algorithm, you can think of token bucket algorithm as let's say you have some certain number of cookies with you. If you have the cookie, then only or it's, it's kind of a gate pass, right? If you have the gate pass, then only you can enter the any, any so or any match, right? To a live cricket match or a, a live so. so this token bucket is like that only. You, you have some set of token. If the tokens are available, then only you can you know make a request to the server. If token is not available, you cannot make a request to the server and you'll get the rate limit error. And how the tokens are added, let's say uh, re requests are coming and the token is being used. So token will gradually reduce rate. So in order to refill the token, what we do, we add one token per bucket. I mean, every second we'll add one token to the uh, bucket. So it's kind of, you know, Opposite of how leaky bucket works, leaky bucket processes request one by one, but here we are adding the scope of making a new request 
I mean we are adding one token per, per second so that a new request can be made. So every second the token is being added. And note that there will be a maximum capacity of this bucket obviously. You cannot add infinite token in it. So the bottom line is only if you have token you will be able to make a request. If token are not there you will get rate limit error. And every second we will add the token in the bucket and that bucket has a maximum capacity. So that's about the uh, token bucket algorithm. Now let's start implementing it. Let me just copy this code and let me just write it like this. Okay, everything is running. Let's say let me just make it as token bucket. Right, this is my key. Again, it will have its own capacity, and here we will mark it as refill rate. Because it, here we are not leaking the bucket, you are basically ref refilling the bucket with tokens, refilling your bag with tokens. Again, there will be again a set interval like this. So we'll get, uh, let's say, we'll get the number of tokens that we have, right? How many tokens I have? So I'll mark it as uh, let. So because if tokens will be basically, if, if I, I have non zero tokens. I'm going to basically add it because in Redis it will store a string. Let's say uh, I'll uh, have that same variable. If the number of tokens is zero, I'll just refill it to the maximum capacity. Now it will count count how many new tokens I'll add. Alright. So this is will be basically math dot min, whichever is the minimum. It it will be either uh, capacity or the maximum number of tokens that I have currently. Then plus one. So every second I'm adding one token to the bucket or to the bag. And finally we'll update our uh, update our let's say bucket key bucket key with the number of new tokens available and then we can print something like console log total available token is new tokens right then we can easily we can get rid of these things and we'll refill this Every let's say one second I'll refill one token or every two seconds I'll refill one token. Alright. So this is the logic. So we are first first fetching what are the number of tokens I have. Then I'm basically uh, refilling it to maximum capacity, right? I mean whichever is minimum. Either, either the cap it will be the capacity will be the minimum or tokens plus one. That means existing token plus one new token that I'm going to add in the back. So this is about the refilling part. Now we'll have a uh, same API like this rate limit. Then what we are going to do, we are going to calculate the number of tokens that we have. Okay. And same same logic we will have here also. Now we can write a code key if tokens is greater than zero. That means I have a ticket, right? Or I have a pass to make a request to the server. Then what we are going to do, we are going to basically decrement the counter. We will basically decrement the value of the token. Basically we are reducing the token, right? One token is reduced now. And then you can send welcome yeah your request is accepted else we'll just send a rest, uh, status call too many requests are there please try again after some time okay i hope you understood the logic before running i'll just explain it one more time we have a bucket or a token cap or bag of a maximum token capacity of 10. so every second every refill rate i mean every second let's say every two second or every second i am refilling one more token one more token i'm adding to the bag so it will be either one more token to the existing token or it will be maximum right let's say currently i have eight tokens so i can go for nine i have nine token i can go for ten if i have ten token already i cannot go for eleven because my maximum capacity is ten only so this is the refilling part and the rate limiting part i'll get the tokens all right if tokens is greater than zero that means i have some tokens i can make the request else i cannot so logic is simple so now if i just open the server here yeah Just run the token bucket algorithm and I'll just make start making the request 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 10. Hmm. See, as soon as I started sending a lot of requests, I got the uh, token issue. Why? Why I got the issue even after making 12 or 13 uh, requests? Because as soon as I was, when I was making the 12th or 13th request, by that time, two seconds had, had already passed, right? So in that, ref, and refill rate had already passed. So 
by that time there will be two or three more new tokens added to the bucket that's why i was able to make i was able to make 10 requests 13 requests also okay now there will be tokens available i can keep on making the request and you'll see that after some time i'll start getting the too many request error okay and then in between i'm uh, able to see a welcome message also because there are some tokens available based on the refill rate all right so this is how you implement a token bucket rate limiting algorithm so i hope you understood the algorithm both the algorithm token bucket and leaky bucket implementation it's quite simple it's actually simpler than implementing sliding window and fixed window algorithm they are a bit complex so all of them has their own use cases so what i am planning is i am planning to explain all the theoretical part of all the four four algorithms with pros and cons when to use what and which algorithm is used in which scenario all those things i am going to discuss in my next video so you can stay tuned so if you like this video if you understood something about this video please drop a like let's target for 50 likes for this video and i'll push all my code in my github repository and also i'll attach the uh, github repo link in my description video description you can check that out there yeah, all right so yeah if you like this video please subscribe to my channel i'm targeting to reach 3000 subscribers by the end of this month so keep supporting so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you